everyone today we're going to make this super super pretty um bow obviously it's another translation i'm going to refer to this one as a victory bow and it's super cute in this marble effect ribbon so today we are going to make a another marbled one and this is the white and gold and silver marble and this is from eva's um sorry eva's bows and craft supplies uh, the link will be in the description below along with the measurements so We've got two pieces of 11 and a half centimetres and it's all one and a half inch ribbon. So two times 11 and a half. This one is 10 centimetres. And then we've got two pieces of the solid colour in 22 centimetres. And one long piece for the base bow, which is 42 and a half. So there's 30. And there's the other 12 and a half. So like I said, 42 and a half. All the measurements will be in the description box. So we're going to put the 10 centimetre and the 42 out of the way. Because we don't need that today. Well, right this second. And then we've got these two bits. And I'm going to take these clips to get everything organised. And what I've done with Omerven is already been heat sealed. And with these two marble bits, I have pinched... middles already so we can line up our bows in a second and like I said I've heat sealed the black ribbon as well and that's in the clear blue part of the flame of my lighter so there we go so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these and what you want to do is get it so your ribbon edges are lined up even like this and then you want to do a really sharp triangle there and then I use these to clip them like so so your edges are completely even we're going to do exactly the same so you roll it in not under in line up your edges again and then make that really sharp defined triangle point and again use your little clip to do that in place now what we want to do with these bits here is turn it so it's this way and you want to take these two corners here and line them against your triangle so that they're even because this will help us balance the bow so they should be lined up with the edges of this one and we want to cut off one centimetre of this triangle. So that's just the right amount. So we can cut that off so it's all level with that original edge. We want to heat seal and I also pinch it so it's all joined together. And again, in the blue clear bit of the flame. Like this. And then you can move your clip. And clip that over like that and that is what the back looks like and this is what the front will look like and then we're going to repeat this again we're going to take these two like so we're going to make sure it's all lined up there so that's even take these two pieces like so we start from here so that's the front of the bow we're going to turn it over so like this take those two pieces again line it up so that these lines are on your point same as before check your triangle is one centimeter over if it's not adjust it slightly and get it to one centimeter so we've got balance on both sides once you're happy you can cut that off using the original edges the guide And heat seal as before blue, blue clear bit of the flame once you're happy take your clip clip that over and then you've got two pieces that look like this so this is the fronts and this is the backs then we're going to take our 11 and a half centimeters and obviously we've got that pinch, so we've literally done a pinch, so we've got a nice clear 
line where the center is and again what you want to do is line that up dead center to where our joins are so where the gap is in the middle and then we're going to take this bit from that side and we're going to do exactly the same we're going to line that up so it's with the join and all of those are now in alignment and again take clip reclip that in place and then we're going to do exactly the same with this side so again we've heat sealed that we've done a little pinch here so we've got a nice clear guide and take this place it directly over the center move our clip a second take this one from behind line it up we want all these edges nice and lined up and then we can reclip and then we've got two pieces and again this is the front this is what your backs look like now i've got my extra strong gutman thread and it's double threaded there's links in the description below along with the uh, measurements and we're going to start from above and we're going to do 12 stitches we're going to do six on each piece so each piece of the black where it joins we're going to do six one side and then six the other so 12 in total so from above one two three four five and the sixth one hold both sides so you've got it in place the sixth stitch will be going up from above for all your layers and you want to be going through the edge of that first side there and on our sixth first one on the other side so one of six we want to be going through the other side of that original triangle there so that's one two three four five six so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And on the back, you'll have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, 6 in total, 12 stitch drops all together. And then pull that up, and we're going to repeat that exactly the same thing again. So, from above, 1, 2, three four five hold that very firmly so you've got both edges on that side so your fifth one's coming down and your sixth one again is coming through that first side where the ribbon's joining up so you're coming through the side that hits this side and on your seventh or first you're going through the side that comes over this side one, two, three, four, five, six. So again, exactly the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we've got six stitches on both pieces 12 in total and again i will put that placement information in the description box below i've also got a link to my facebook group i'm very very active in there i post all my tutorials and tips and advice every single day on all topics related to bows all of the time so these are your two pieces and obviously i do the cinch method you can sew them in individual pieces as long as you keep your stitch placement and your stitch values exactly the same in both sides so you could stitch them individually and then glue them or stitch them together depending on how you prefer i like this cinch method i'll just show you the backs as well this is what it will look like and then we're going to pull and we will have six creases on each side of our bow so one two three four five six and we've got one two three four five six that side 
So I'm just going to line up that, that side for me. And we're going to go back through our creases. Through the original stitch guide where we did before. We don't want to go too far out from the middle. There we go. Just untangle, I've got a little knot there. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing this side. I'm just going to reline up my creases this side. give that a nice secure cinch round okay so this is what the front will look like and this is what the back looks like so again i'm just going to do a whole stitch over the front here very close to the edge just as a guide I'm just going to fold that edge down just so it looks a bit tidier in my opinion and again one more stitch over the centre just for extra security and then we can stitch off in the back however you personally prefer or like I said, you might have made it in two parts, entirely up to you. All about personal preferences when you're making your bows, what sort of shapes and styles you like to make them look like. I will say this, cinch method gives you a more curved look to your bow. Making in two pieces and sewing or gluing together gives you a more squared off look. So like I said, whichever you personally like. So there is our main bow. I'm just retying my thread off. And then we are going to make our base pinwheel and we're going to do the little colour pop tail so it's half pinwheel with a colour pop tail so there we go we are just going to put that one out of the way for a minute and here we go so you can do your I've got the 42 and a half centimetre piece and you can do your this is the shape I make with my so it's basically taking it from straight and you do it in a zigzag like this but if you wanted to you could do your zigzag so I did it that way you could do it the opposite way depending on which way you like your tail point if that makes sense so you can play around with it and work out which way you personally like but I tend to end up doing it this way so you can do it from above as well and what I do is like I said I make this this shape here and then that is two and a half centimeters that is two and a half centimetres. When I'm happy I've got the same length on the tails. I take these little clips again, they're always my second pair of hands, and there's links in the description below to buy your own. And I have UK and US links. So there we go. So that's what we have for now. And then using these two corners, we fold that in half, and to get your nice crease guide for your stitches, we Take that glue stringy that's come out of nowhere. And we heat crease that centre. There we go. That's what it looks like now. And then the tail, like I said, this is 10 centimetres. You could do nine. I do 10 just so I can cut it down if I need to. We want to go one centimetre, well, just under a centimetre over. The crease so about a centimetre half a centimetre if you can and you don't want it directly over the tail what you want to do again is you want it one centimetre up from the bottom 
like this. I'm going to take that clip again and clip that in place. Fold it back in half. And heat seal again. And this will just catch that colour bit of the tail. There we go. So now you've got a crease guide on your colour bit of the tail. And then we take our needle and thread again. And we go from above. One, two, three, four. And what's that? That's the first side of the ribbon. Over. One, two, three, four. So eight in total. And we will get four creases, two on each pieces of the ribbon. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, which will give us four creases. So whatever value of stitches you've got in the back is how many creases you will have overall. And then cinch it together. And I always leave the clips on while I cinch, just because I think it balances it nicely. Pinch it all together and then use some of that excess thread to wrap it round nice and tight. And then stitch that off. One. Two. Now instead of gluing, what I do is I use my thread from beneath this excess thread. I go right through the centre of this one so I go right through the centre make sure this isn't tangled underneath so leave your clips on while you pull this up so there's your excess thread take your main bow and again right through the centre of the bow Pull that down, get your bows lined up, make sure your half pinwheel is where you want, you can take your clips off now, make sure it all lines up exactly where you want it, once you're happy take this excess thread, pull it really really tight and wrap it round and what this does is it makes it nice and tight and keeps it secure but it takes away any bulk that gluing your layers together does. And then you can stitch off in the back as normal. You could glue as well. Like I said, it's entirely personal preferences. So there is that one. And as you can see, the tails aren't quite how I want them yet. So I'm going to cut this one. Let's see, that one's a little bit longer, so I'm just going to cut that down just a touch so that they're both, both the same. And then I'm going to cut this at an angle this way. Then I'm going to turn it and we're going to cut this one at the same angle, the opposite direction, to get that nice interesting tail look. And then we're going to heat seal both in the clear blue bit of the flame. And again, move that one out of the way, clear a little bit of the frame, and then decide which direction we're going to do this. I'm going to cut mine down, and again, you want the same angle that you've just done on the other side. Heat seal that. We can then move those out of the way. And this is what the front of your bow will look like at the moment, and this is what the back of the bow looks like. I've got some nice 9mm to wrap at the centre and a little 55mm clip. We're going to add a touch of glue to the back of that. Over the centre, make sure you've got the right value over both sides. Hold that for a second. Heat seal on 9mm end. We're going to put a touch of glue just here. Okay. 
hold that up for a second on the centre of your bow and then we're going to wrap round twice really nice and tight to get it all squared off so there's once open that clip back up make sure you're going directly over the original ribbon layer again there you go nicely squared look cut off any excess if there is there we go heat seal that bit a little bit of glue there clip that in and then adjust your bow until you are happy with its overall look and there you go some super super cute victory bows thanks for watching and i'll speak to you all soon bye